Previously on Sailing Catalpa. Everyone tried their luck fishing from the dinghy, but we all know spearing is the better way. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Love can be a ship, a ship, a ship Love can be a stone, a stone, a stone Love can be a sail I love these moments and I love that even though you don't always want to do any of this with me, you always do. I'm so grateful for all that you do, especially dancing on the beach with me. And I hope our kids and one day our grandkids find someone to dance on the beach with them. Love can keep you real, so real, so real Or driving you insane It's my creation Play and create, nothing's too safe Play and create Oh, it's my creation Play and create, nothing's too safe Play and create Well, it's my creation Play and create It's my creation We're going to go on a little adventure. I don't know what we're going to be doing. I know we're going to be spearing, some snorkeling, maybe even climbing on these rocks to jump off. And yeah, so let's go have some fun. It takes practice to identify fish under the water and for us it took some getting used to to know what fish on this side of the world are good to eat. Spearfishing looks easier than it is. Let's dive down and see if you can hold your breath. We turned that fish into fish cakes. How is it? Delicious. Bloody divine, darling. Delicious. Thanks, Taj. That was Taj's fish. Not much. Is that all there was of Taj's fish? Do you want to get a bigger one for next time? Another day and some more adventures. Morning was spent climbing rocks and jumping into the water. So we just left the little cove where we were, I think it was called V Cove and we're heading not very far this afternoon, we're going 5 nautical miles around to an anchorage on the same island, just around the corner 
which is 10 nautical miles from Loretto. Tomorrow morning we're planning on going to Loretto to provision just for some fresh food and then we're heading to another island tomorrow, Coronado Island. But that little stop we just had was awesome. We loved it there. So it didn't have clear water the whole time, but like certain parts of the day was so clear and so beautiful. And yeah, we just really enjoyed our time. So anyway, we've got wind behind us. We've just got our head sail up because we're not going very far. We're going five nautical miles and it should take us about an hour. Maybe a little bit more if we don't pick up speed. I think we're going about four knots. So maybe an hour and 15 minutes, but that's what we're doing. We're just cruising along with one sail out. We just left our anchorage. It's probably really noisy and I'm sorry, but uh, boat life is an ideal for filming all the time. Here there is my face. Uh, it's early in the morning, I haven't looked in the mirror yet, so I'm just on my yoga mat doing my yoga. We are going to Loretto. Loretto has an anchorage, but it's not very good apparently, so we don't want to stay there too long. We're going to stop in give ourselves a couple of hours. We're really slow people for those of you who know us. Yeah, we'll make it happen. We're gonna anchor up, go into shore for a couple of hours and then head to another island. So we're gonna have to leave at least this afternoon. We're going to get over there probably in about half an hour, 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of stretching and then I'm gonna make everyone breakfast right, so we can like boom, 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 be in and gone and get all of our fresh food, have a look at the supermarkets and keep on going. There is time schedules sometimes and we're not very good at them, but you know, you gotta follow whether or you gotta be somewhere at a certain time. But motoring, making water, and stretching my spine. Trying to convince the captain that he should maintain his body as much as he maintains everything else on this boat because he has a sore neck and a sore spine, but still doesn't understand that if he looked after himself that he could probably limit that anyway that's frustrating for me all I can do is keep supporting and helping him as best I can but ultimately it's up to him so that's my little rant for the morning all right guys Sarah might be a little bit right there I don't look after the old rig too well but one thing that I do is I limit my caffeine intake and I do it with mud water why? Because it makes me feel good, keeps me sharp. I don't get the coffee jitters that I usually used to get when I was a coffee addict. The mud water, it just keeps you more alert, gives you more clarity and just makes you feel good and it tastes good. In this case, I'm sweaty. We're at Loretto and it's hot and I'm going to have myself a cold one. Or should I say an iced one? I'm going to add a few cubes into there. Right, so that's what I do to feel good and that's my morning ritual try and get to town and do our provisioning in record time. We've never been to this town so when you're sailing and you've got a provision along the way the most time consuming thing is sometimes finding where everything is so because we haven't been here we don't know where anything is we don't even know where to go take the dinghy in but we always try and research a little bit before we come in. Lee looked it up and found where the supermarkets are so hopefully we can go and get this done quickly because we are on a time frame and so here we go we're gonna go in the dinghy find all our shops and see if we can get in and out of here. Probably the quickest we've ever provisioned. And then I have to find some shoes because I don't wear shoes until we come to town. I've been rejected in one supermarket over here for not having shoes on. So we always try and remember some shoes. Taj is gonna drop us ashore. Lee leaves his shirt off until we get there because it's hot, hot, hot. Super still. It's just hot because the breeze hasn't come up yet. Yeah. So it turns out it's not that far away. It's about a 15 minute walk, so. We're going to walk. I think we're a little early for Loretto. Okay. Seems to be closed, everything. <laughs> we're too early. We're trying to beat the wind. It's not like us to be early. No. Everything's usually shutting. <laughs> So we just found an ATM. It's so nice in here, it's air conditioning. <laughs> Might stand here just for a moment. Okay, we're all done. We're still just standing here. Are you sure you don't need more money? Here we go again. <laughs> right, it's so cold. Sometimes you walk into an aircon and it's like really not that. It's a little bit colder, but it's not. This one, like super cold. So walking back outside, it's gonna be super hot. This is super pretty, this town. It's 
queen and there's probably people. It's pretty quiet, but it is a Sunday. So quiet. This is so pretty, but they're so breakable. Yeah. They wouldn't last long, I could tell her. I love this. I think this isn't breakable. Oh, <gasps> the one. All right, we found one supermarket. The supermarkets here usually have most things you need. What we needed, we can mostly always find. What was on our shopping list today? Eggs, fruit, coconut milk, cheese, salad, vegetables, panko crumbs, and beer. Okay, so we went in there. We went into a little shop that was across the road, has like organic stuff. And now we're going to another one because this is a small supermarket. And then we're walking five minutes down the road to a bigger supermarket. So we'll go see what that one is. And then we're going to make our way back and get all the things we need. All right, we found the other supermarket that's a bit bigger. We're just having a look here. I'm gonna get some stuff. I'll get a trolley. Yeah. Okay, we've done our first run. How many eggs do you think we need? How many did we shop last time? Because it was perfect. Whatever we got lasted us till now. I think it was about two weeks ago. Two weeks, so we used I think seven of those trays. Those seven times ones. 18. Whatever seven times 18 is, that's how many eggs we ate in two weeks. <laughs> that's a lot of eggs, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Taj eats eggs like they're going out of style though, so, you know. Anyway, we're done. First shop done. First shop down. And we're going to get this back to the boat and come back again. Yeah, we've done everything we need to do here. <laughs> so, we'll get this back, take it to the kids, they can unpack it all, and then we'll go to the other shop. We've got too much to walk back with. So we're going to try and get a taxi back. Okay, just a little time update. We came over about 10, it's now 11.30. We were hoping to be out of here by about 1, 1, 2. So we're still on time schedule. Perfect. That was the easiest one so far. <laughs> Straight to here. Backs right down to the jetty. <laughs> so good. Now where's, where's Tark? Here he is, coming in whole. Thanks, Taj. All right, I'll see you in a minute. Half an hour, an hour. <laughs> found the best bag I've seen for a long time. <laughs> Look at it. I love it, it's perfect. Okay, we're back in that first shop we went into. We've scoped it out, we know what we're getting. I found pickles. <laughs> so we're done. I think we're gonna head, get some food and then head back to the boat and head off. At one o'clock. We've got an hour off our sleeve. I think we should go and have some food. Okay, while we're here, we did a little bit of shopping. I got a new bag. The bag I've been rocking is from Team Oleste, which is so old. And uh, Lee got this because we don't want to get burned anymore. I probably need one too. What did Bella get? Oh, and Bella's got this little bag. Like a little backpack. Super cute. Yeah, we're back in the aircon. <laughs> Spent money, so I'm gonna get some more out. You're being indecisive? Yep. You've been here for five minutes, baby. I know. Okay. Um... So, the kids are out there. Right. Oh, where are they? About there. Sarah still hasn't decided. 
<laughs> Not good with decisions. Good job, darling. I had to stop the camera. She's finally ordered. <laughs> Bit guilty. The kids are stuck on the boat. And have a look at this. <laughs> Sorry, kids. It's like I'm on a walking umbrella. We just had tacos and. We got some for Taj, Bella didn't want any. We've done pretty well, I think it's about two. Back to Catalpa and pulled the anchor. We had some strong winds around 20 knots and we had a good sail to the next anchorage. Anchorage. We're back with our friends. Yay! They're coming with us. We're going to Vico because it's super nice up there. So we're heading up there. Bella's got the best seat in the house. Show you my view, people. You know what that from? And if you like this video, remember to like it. Just a reminder if you haven't already, please subscribe. And thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>